welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny Rios. Today is a very exciting day. For those that don't know, I've been wanting a Yorkie for a really long time and finally that day has come and I like honestly can't believe it. It's like it's been two years trying to get a little dog but the timing wasn't right. I could never find one that I really wanted or they were too expensive but I finally found one that was still expensive but because of the coronavirus and everything going on, it's like <laughs> there's nothing to do. So this is just like the perfect timing to get a little puppy and to train it and to love it. So I'm going to take you on the journey. We're picking it up today and yeah, let's do this. Ah! And she's just sleeping right now. So it's day number so we're doing a little taste test today. So now we're just gonna get the morning started, baby. Is that your bark? What, is that your bark? Oh my God, good girl, good girl. Okay guys, so I finally got Peppa and look at her. Look at her go. She is like a little a little ball. Yeah, oh my horrible. god. She's so small. Here's my aunt and my cousin. She's oh my getting goodness. familiar to the place. This is her little puppy bowl and her water in a shot glass because that's how tiny she is. <laughs> hi baby. Say hi to the world. Yeah, she's so Say hi. She's four months, guys. Guys, look at her drinking from this little shot glass. <laughs> so we're just getting her familiar with the space she's gonna be at the most, which is my bathroom, just like whenever she needs to pee and stuff. So guys, I bought these treats, right? I had to cut it up in like four little pieces because she's so small that like one piece would be so big. So she is just really scared and I think she's just like, trying to figure out what's going on so i want to make sure like her welcome home experience is really chill and nothing's like very scary for her oh my god she's whining it's okay baby she's wet because um she keeps drinking water and she's so small that it just gets all over her say hi oh she winked at you guys look at her it's okay how cute is she so we just got her little puppy bowl from Amazon and she's just sleeping right now. Oh my god, I'm dying guys. I'm dying. Good morning guys. So this is Peppa's second official day here. She has been eating really well and drinking her water. And last night guys, she actually peed in her pee pad and then she pooped right there this morning. I mean, she did this on her own. I'm so proud of her. Didn't even have to teach her. She's a natural. I think she's gonna be literally the cutest, most sweetest little obedient little dog. She was squealing a lot this morning, but I think it's because she either wanted to be with me or she just wants to play. Guys, okay, look at this hedgehog though. Like, it, it fits in my hand, as you guys can see. So this hedgehog next to her, I mean, you can only imagine how small she is in person. But yeah, we're gonna get the day started, right Peppa? I don't think she knows that's her name yet. <laughs> Peppa, Peppa, Peppa. Guys, so I have music for her just while she stays in here whenever I leave, just cause I don't want her to feel lonely, right baby? Peppa's little bed arrived. I think this is gonna be like her little bed that I take everywhere with her. It's so comfy and cozy. Look at her chilling. Yes, queen, yes. So we're doing a little taste test today because she has been eating the mix of food, which is like some of the chicken stuff that I made and her old kibble, her new kibble, and then this like wet food. But she's been eating some of like the chicken that I made and then she was eating this earlier today. She was eating that the very first day, but I don't know, we're kind of seeing what she likes. She ate some of the chicken right now, but I think she's not super hungry right now, so. We'll come back, right, baby? So it's day number, I don't know what day it is. I feel like she's grown a little bit. Her face is coming in, right, baby? 
We've been having lots of fun, guys. I mean, it's quarantine. We're just chilling at home. So we've been able to have some bonding time. Right, baby? She's so over me. It's a little room. You like it, Peppa? And these are her little toys. And she actually has transitioned to regular food now, which is good. She'll actually eat those. So I'm happy because she's been eating and she's been growing. So, yay! So it is about 9.30 a.m. And we woke up. Right, Peppa? Peppa woke up at like... 7 30 i put her in the bathroom so she could pee and poop which she did and then she like usually i let her in because i just know she needs to pee and poop so she'll do that there and then she was just chilling and sleeping and now it's playtime. so now we're just gonna get the morning started baby let's make your toy come on she like loves these little hair ties. She's like, what is going on? Um, but this is Peppa, and I'm so excited. I've been wanting a Yorkie for the longest time. She is so sweet. She's very shy, guys. And she's still trying to get situated with the environment and everything. But yeah, this is she, and today I'm just gonna show you all the stuff that I got for her and all the stuff that you need when you are first purchasing a little puppy, as well as just some information that you need, especially if you are a first time dog mom or dad <laughs> so if you guys are ready let's do this let's do this papa me kiss guys she doesn't kiss me it makes me so mad actually a Yorkie. She is, I don't even think she's a teacup Yorkie. I think she's a micro Yorkie. I don't know if that's the same thing, but basically that's what the breeder told me. And I got her from a breeder. Um, I was, that was another reason why it took me a really long time to get a dog because I definitely didn't want it to come from a puppy mill and I didn't want to buy it at the pet store because I just don't believe in that. So the breeder I got her from owns her parents and she was really sweet, really nice. So I felt very comfortable in purchasing Peppa. I was actually very scared because my grandma got a little puppy about a year and a half ago. Maybe it was like two years ago and she was really small like Peppa. But she actually ended up dying um, from a little heart. I think she had... I don't know, I feel like they said that she was vomiting a lot and because she vomited a lot, I guess some of the vomit went to her kidney or something and then it made her throw up blood later on. I don't know, it was a whole thing. So I was always very skeptical because I was like, I feel like they got her from a puppy mill and it was just, I don't know, you just never know. So first and foremost, do your research, make sure you're getting it from a breeder or make sure you know it's not a puppy mill because Guys, don't support that kind of stuff. It makes me so sad. Um, and if you can adopt a pet, please go ahead and do so. Of course, I would have never found a little Yorkie in a, an adoption center or, or else I totally would. So I guess we'll just talk about some of the essential things that you first will need when purchasing a little dog, especially a little dog as tiny as Peppa. I didn't wanna hold her this whole time because she probably wants to roam around. But yeah, some of the things that you need to know once you get a dog is you wanna be prepared. So me, the day before, I went ahead and got everything because when you welcome your puppy home, like 
you want this to be the best experience not only for you but also for the puppy you don't want to be running around trying to get everything that it needs you want to be fully prepared so that is like my number one tip it's like be prepared by everything thunderstorm buy everything that you need and be ready that way the first day that you get your puppy it's just a very relaxing experience for the puppy the puppy's already going to be really sad and distressed and it's gonna go through so many different emotions so you just want to make sure it becomes the best experience for your little puppy okay it is like a tornado out there guys all right so let's start some of the very first things you are going to need if you are going to potty train your dog you either need pee pads or you need a kettle. I've actually potty trained. I used to have Yorkies and I grew up having Yorkies. So I remember our second dog, we potty trained in a kettle. And it was actually really easy because she would stay there the whole time and then we would take her out so she knew that that's, that was her time to pee or poop. But this time, I wasn't sure how big she was. Actually, I knew she was really small because I had already seen her, so. Okay, I said kettle. I meant kennel, guys. Oh my god. But a kennel. So I didn't want to get a kennel for her because I already knew she was really small, so I was like, let me not do that. So I got her these pee pads, and I got these at PetSmart, but you can actually get these on Amazon. They're Lee Guard potty pads. I will say that Peppa is so small that in this whole time that I've had her, I've only used two pee pads, which is so funny. She is so tiny. So if you have a really tiny dog, that's going to last a while. If you have a little, a bigger dog, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess take it outside. Um, also, Peppa doesn't have all her vaccines. She has one vaccine left. So I definitely don't want to put her outside and don't want her to contract any kind of sickness or anything like that. So make sure your puppy has all its vaccines because if not, you are going to want to stay home until it gets its last vaccine. But you can also go to a class and get it potty trained. So whatever you feel comfortable with. Now let's talk about some food. So I got her Merrick. This is the puppy recipe. And the kibble on this is actually really small. Let me show you what it looks like. It's like really, really tiny. So I want to give my puppy the best food possible because if I get the best food for myself, obviously I want my puppy to also have the best food. So I got her this. However, I did ask the breeder what kind of food she was eating at first. And she said she was eating pedigree puppy food. And she actually gave me a bag of it. Um, whenever she gave her to me so obviously I wasn't just going to switch her over to this so I would mix a little bit of the pedigree food and a little bit of this and now she kind of eats both so that is like the best thing that you can do is kind of just like mix the food and make making sure you don't transition immediately when you get your dog into whatever you that you want to feed her I bought this Merrick brand because my friend said that it had really high ratings and I actually read up on it and it's actually really really good it's like deep bone chicken and all this stuff so I put a little bit of that then I added just a little bit of this that I made which is hard boiled eggs a little bit of um, peppers and then chicken and I added just a little bit of that on the kibble um, so she could eat it and she could get those little nutrients that she needs she's like yeah let me eat <laughs> Now another thing is that Yorkies are just so fragile, especially in the puppy stage, that you want to make sure she's getting all her nutrients and she's getting everything that she needs. So I actually researched other YouTube videos and I saw that um, a girl made her puppy some chicken, bell peppers, and hard boiled eggs um, to put on top of her food. And so I've been doing that and she was eating it. I will say that the first day she was not eat, like she didn't eat at all and she was actually vomiting. Peppa actually, the very first day, all she did was sleep. She did not want to eat. She didn't want to drink water. And I was getting really nervous because she actually threw up and the throw up was yellow. And it got me so scared because that is what my grandma's dog used to do all the time. And it was because her stomach was so empty that she was just throwing up this yellow vomit so i was like oh my god I, I need to feed her but she would not eat anything so i texted the breeder and she was like hey like give her some of this kibble if not the wet food i gave you should 
you know, she should eat that. And so she gave me a can of like some wet food and she actually ate that. Um, and so I had, I gave that to her the first few days along with her kibble. So I would put her kibble and some of like this liver wet food on top and she would eat it. And then I would also give her some chicken and she would eat that too. So then now that we've transitioned and it's been about, it's going to be about a week that I've had her. She actually does not eat the wet food anymore. She eats her kibble and she'll eat the chicken. So I feel like she's just growing up in front of my eyes. She's like so grown now. Just experiment. Make sure you have a variety of items when your dog arrives because it's going to be so new to your puppy but until it gets accustomed to whatever you're going to feed it. So that is just a tip. Be fully prepared because it is scary when your dog isn't eating or anything like that. Next up, I got her these little treats. So guys, I got her these bones um, and it came in a packet. Obviously, I'll link it. It was on Amazon. It's supposed to be like for a puppy and then intermediate stage and then an adult. Now, I just want you to see how like big this bone is to, compared to Peppa. Okay guys, so I got her these bones thinking like, oh yeah, they're small enough. Can you see how like big this bone is compared to her? I can't even deal. So you wanna make sure you give your little puppy some toys or little things that she or he can play with. Now Peppa just started playing with her little toys like two days ago. Before that she was like, she didn't know what was going on. She was very scared, but like now she knows that these are toys and it's okay to like nibble on them. And I actually think her teeth are coming in as well. So now she's playful, she plays with them. So just make sure you also get your dog some little toys. Now Peppa is going to go around town with me. I am a pretty busy person as is. So I don't want her being at home all day bored and you know, not bonding with me. So I'm actually going to take her with me everywhere I go and that's why I wanted such a small dog so I could take it with me everywhere. So with that being said, I wanted to get her a little bag um, that has all of the stuff that she needs throughout the day. So I got this from Shop Bando. It's not necessarily like a travel bag. It's actually supposed to be a, what is it called, like a travel kit where you put like your shampoo and all of that stuff. I was like, whatever, I can use this for her little to-go bag, her little baby, her little diaper bag. Um, so in here is this thing that I got on Amazon. It's a portable water dis dispenser. Basically, you fill it up with water and then you click this button and then the water comes out and then you can feed your little puppy. So you can give your little puppy water on the go. So I love this because I obviously wanna make sure she's hydrated when we go out and I don't want her dying of dehydration. So I love that thing, it was super cute. It was like $7, it was pretty cheap. I also got a little bag with some of her kibble. Again, I mixed both of her foods so she like gets accustomed to that. So that's just in case, I put that in her little bag. Okay, also in Peppa's bag, we have this high calorie nutritional gel. And this I also saw on someone else's YouTube video and they were telling me that it's really important to have that, especially if you have a really tiny puppy because you wanna make sure their blood sugar doesn't drop too much because they can have seizures and faint and all this crazy stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I was like so shook and scared. So I was like, okay, let me make sure I get this for sure. And actually when I asked my breeder like what I needed to get, she did say either that or honey. But I just bought that because I looked at reviews and a lot of people were raving about it. So I just got it just to be safe. And you just use a little droplet. It's basically like honey. And I have to stick it in her mouth and rub it in her teeth just because she actually won't eat it because I think it smells kind of weird, like fishy. But it's actually really good because you want to make sure, especially your dog is going to do a lot of like activities or you're gonna take it on a play date or it's just gonna be running around or you're gonna be running around with it you want to make sure their blood sugar doesn't drop so again like that's why I give her some chicken in the morning just because I want her to have all the calories she needs so just look into it because you definitely want to make sure you have that on hand and you can just give your little puppy a little bit every single day to make sure that um, blood sugar stays good. Yeah, so but that's basically all I have for now. Um, I am gonna add some of her little toys in here so when we go, she can like play. But this is her little bag and you can put little stuff in here. It's really cute, it has a little handle. <laughs> It's not, again, it's not made for dogs, but I used it for my dog. I got this little bed. 
I got this little bed on Amazon and I love it. Like if I was a dog, I'd totally be laying in this. It's so comfy, like it's so plush. And I think it came in different colors, but I just like the gray color because it was chic and it goes with my decor. Right now I don't have a bag for Peppa, so I'll put her in here and I'll kind of take her like this with me in the car. And then I can just put it down on the seat or in the bottom of the seat and she kind of just lays there so it's comfortable for her for whenever I take her out because I definitely don't want her flying around everywhere in the car and she's so small that she usually just sleeps when we go out and when I take her in the car so it's a really good to go bed like you can just like fold it and she really likes it she sleeps in this now my friend got her this adorable puppy bowl <laughs> it's pink and has little crystals and it's so me that I just love it. I personally, I don't think I would have bought this myself. Now that I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And it's like perfect because it gives her little room corner a pop of pink. So you just want to make sure you're always changing out the water because I don't know why, but I mean, I changed it like a few hours ago and it's dirty again. So you just want to make sure you're always cleaning the water, putting new water and making sure your puppy has kibble at all time because these little dogs do eat a lot throughout the day and you always want to make sure that you're giving them that food so whenever they're hungry they can just go eat it. So that's very important because I feel like my grandma didn't do that to her little dog and I feel like that's really the reason it died because it never had enough food. You know, she would say that she would put out the food for her and then she would eat it and then that's it. But I'm like, oh my god, you're only giving the dog like a little bit of food throughout the day and it's probably hungry. We don't think they're hungry, but they really are hungry all the time. Like Peppa will eat at like 8 a.m. and then she'll go play and then at 9 a.m. she eats and then an hour later she eats. I mean, so it's like a baby. So you want to feed your little puppy and I think that is just my main concern for you if you do get a little dog. Make sure it's eating enough. Um, because yeah, Peppa eats a lot, so I can only imagine my grandma's dog wanting to eat all the time and she never had kibble, so very sad story. Now, I also got some shampoo that I'm going to link for you guys. It's a natural shampoo, but yeah, I've been looking into a lot of different products, so I found that one. It was natural shampoo, so I want to try it out on her. I also have looked into some CBD products for little dogs, and I'll do a review on that later, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you're in the know. Now, another thing I will say is you want to make sure your puppy on a little schedule so the sooner you, you put your little puppy on a schedule and a routine the better it will be for you to train your little dog or also just to make sure you know when your dog needs to go potty when it needs to eat and all of that and it just gives your dog I feel like a sense of like maybe like security even and just it'll adapt better to the environment when it knows that at this certain time it's it's nap time at this certain time it's gonna eat at this certain time it's gonna sleep and all of that so with Peppa I feel like she would wake up at 4 a.m. guys I felt like a mom she would wake up at 4 a.m. and want to play at her old house so she did that for two days and then I realized I was like oh no this girl needs to not sleep so much during the day so she doesn't wake me up at 4 a.m. and she can sleep through the night other than that I kind of see and look at her schedule of like when she's eating, when she's drinking, and then when I feel like it's been a good certain amount of time, I'll per put her again in the bathroom so she knows to pee and poop there. And she actually has peed and pooed. Um, of course, like if she, if your little puppy pees somewhere else, make sure you like hit them, a l l not like hard, but just like hit them, make sure you, they know not to do that. And then clean it up and then put that tissue or that pee on their pee pad or wherever you're training them so they know that's where they need to pee. Just make sure you are spending time with your dog. Like if you are just getting a little puppy, like make sure you carve out time during the day to bond with your puppy, to play with your puppy, especially because they do have a lot of energy and they do want to play with you. And I know sometimes I feel bad because she like will look at me and she's like, I want to play. And I'm like, okay, but I have to get ready and do this. So. I try to make some time for her so I can just play with her a little bit and she can have some fun and, get, and play with her toys. And then after a good like 30 minutes or so, she's like, I'm tired. So then she'll take a nap. So just make sure you also play with, her, with them because it's very important for them to feel loved and to feel like you are giving them attention. And of course your puppy's gonna be really sad the first few days. I mean, she was like so scared the first few days. She wouldn't really eat. 
she was like just like in her little bed but now she'll just be running around the house jumping around she's playing with all the different dogs that's another thing because I know that she's gonna be around a lot of people and all around other dogs um, her whole life I want to introduce her to that early on so she knows that yes we're gonna go to people's house yes people are going to see you and want to hang out with you so of course everyone's gentle with her but you know she is meeting all my friends so she knows that these are her aunts and uncles and they love her just as much as I do um, also because my friends have dogs I'm trying to introduce her to all the little dogs and she's actually been so cute she actually got a little scared my roommate's dog is another Yorkie but it's bigger and older so she'll try to go up to him because I think she really wants to play with him and Bentley will growl at her and she just gets so scared so we're trying to like work on that relationship that's the only dog that she's just like still scared about but her other um, big bigger dog cousins they love her they play with her and I think they just they're they're kind of like in awe that she's so tiny and um, they're really sweet with her so yeah make sure you just get your dog accustomed to whatever you want your dog to be around for the rest of the life early on because if you never introduce it to anyone or any dogs or any other people um, for however many months at the beginning when you do want to take them out they're gonna bark they're gonna misbehave so the sooner you do that the better i also got her this baby dog grooming spray from amazon and it was super cheap it was like three dollars and i actually had this for my dog growing up so it just remind the smell reminded me of my old dog and memories but basically it just smells like baby powder it smells like babies so super cute usually i'll brush her hair out and then kind of from far away like we'll put her head down so it doesn't get in her eyes and then I'll spray her with it just so she smells good because I don't want my dog to smell gross right baby and then last but not least I wanted to get her a little dog brush but they were like seven dollars or like twelve dollars on Amazon and I wasn't sure how big it was or if I was gonna like it so I actually went to the dollar store guys and got her this like this was one dollar so of course I want to brush her and I want her to get used to all of that as a baby so I've been like she actually will let me and of course I'm super sweet and I'm always like good girl like if you're letting me brush you good girl so I will basically just brush her like this and I think she honestly likes it I think it's like soothing for her um, hold on. Okay, I can't do this with the blanket, so I'm gonna have to do it like this. So basically, I'll hold her. It's okay, baby. And I'm just like, I'm always talking to her. And yeah, and then I was brushing her one day, and then I found these like super weird, like those little things that you found outside that are prickly. It was like in her hair. So you wanna make sure you groom your dog, and you wanna make sure you get your dog accustomed to like brushing and like cutting the little nails and all of that um, when it's young, so it lets you do that when it's older and then also a thing that I love to do is like hold my little puppy like this like I love to turn my dogs around so I can like give her a belly rub or brush her hair like this make sure you just get your dog accustomed to that if that is something because at my grandma's old dog I would do this to her and she would not have it like she would turn around completely and it would bother me because sometimes I'm like I'm just trying to give you a belly rub but she wouldn't like it so Peppa likes it right baby and she like will totally let me like lay her down however and she's just the sweetest little dog ever like oh my gosh she is adorable and I love her so much and it's only been a week right baby it's only been a week so yeah guys that is it that is our little puppy haul and yeah now we're just gonna quarantine and chill and nap and have some dinner and that's it all right, baby, say bye. Tell them that next time you're going to look a little bit more presentable because you're going to be more grown. Yes? So, yeah, guys, this is she. This is Peppa. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see the next things that I'm going to have for her. Like this video. Of course, like this video because it's Peppa. Don't do it for me. Do it for Peppa. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I hope you guys learned something new, and I'll see you guys next time. Say bye.